Hello guys, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to see the installation process of MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench. So let's start this video. So first of all, we have to open the Google search menu. In the Google search menu, we have to search MySQL download. After searching MySQL download, you will be shown in the below section MySQL. So you have to click on it. So you have to scroll this page. In the below section, you will be shown MySQL community. So here you could see it. So we have to click on it. MySQL community GPL downloads. After clicking on it. So here you could see that all the products available of MySQL. So here we have to click on MySQL installer for Windows. As you could see here. So I am clicking on it. After clicking on it. Here you could see that. For your computer version. Windows version is already by default selected. If it is not selected, you have to select by your own and after selecting it, there are two files shown over here. So you have to click on the larger file. We are downloading the file with having larger size so that our installation process will be easy and we will not face any of the issues. As clicking on it, here you could see that you could log into MySQL with your login ID or this is not necessary so in the below section you could see no thanks just start my download so you have to click on just start my download so click over it as you could see that we have clicked on it after clicking on it in the above menu you could see that download has been started i have already downloaded this file to not waste your time so i am going into the my download menu and i am about to open this file so i have gone into file manager and in the download section I am opening this file after opening this file the required process is being in progress so you could see that the file has been opened so here a different menu is shown as you could see that for client only for the full section and for the custom section if you will install the full so it may lag because mysql has so many functions so i would prefer you to customize as per your use so i am clicking on custom section after clicking on custom section you have to click on next and all the functions are available in the left box so you have to select the functions which you are required to select in the right box after selecting it in the right box you have to click on next button so you could see that i am selecting mysql server and mysql workbench as you could see that we have selected our required menu so we are clicking on next button after clicking on next button here you could see that our selected file is shown over here so here we have to execute this file so i am executing this file a pop up menu for my squared visual c++ will be shown if this application is not installed in your pc if microsoft visual c++ is already installed it will not be shown to you so if it is showing you have to agree on the terms and condition and you have to install this file after installing this file you have to go for the so i am continuing for the required processes as you could see that i am clicking on the execute button in all the above processes so after clicking on execute button you could see that the required process is being done in all the further steps you have to just click on the next button as you could see that I am clicking on next button each time. So after clicking on next button, in the further step, you will be have to click and make your password. So you have to create your own password and you have to remember this because when you will require to log in in MySQL, so you will require this password. In each further step, we have to just click on next button. So two times I am clicking on the next button. Thereafter, to apply the configuration, we have to click on execute button. So for applying the configuration, I am clicking on execute button.
so all the configuration has been applied so we have to finish this process after clicking on the next button so in the further step you will be uh, likely to see that the configuration has been completed so here you could see that I am clicking on the finish button in my further step after that you will be shown that the process has been finished in the further steps by searching in the windows search menu we will search mysql so after searching it we are about to open this file after opening this file we have to log in by our own password which you have created so here we are going to use two commands the first command is show database and the second command is to create database so here by using create database we are going to create a new database and after using show database command we are going to see the folder which we have created as by creating the database so here you could see that i am using each of these command and i am showing the all the processes to you